welcome to day three of the vlogmas today it is december the second and you will be seeing this tomorrow when it is actually december 3rd but um today's a busy day i uh, i have been to work for a few hours and then i had to rush back because uh recording vlogmas is something i have to do every day i can't just skip today because i'm busy so i just had to drive home from work it's like a 30 minutes drive to come home and record the second part of the knit along and then i have to go back to work because i have student parents meetings today so i have the parents come sit with me and another teacher for yeah they have 20 minutes the students and the parents so i have to do that all afternoon and tonight i have a meeting at the church so <laughs> busy day so i'm just gonna Take it with me. Let's go open the mini skeins for today and cake the one from Fru Velbo, and then we will start knitting on um, skein number two. Tomorrow is going to be equally as crazy because I start the day at work at eight and I also have the student parents meetings tomorrow and I teach till three. Then I have the student parents meetings until 7 30 then i have to go home spend time with my girls so i might be cheating a little bit and maybe record for the next day today <laughs> um yeah you that's allowed in show business right so i guess that will be okay for me to do that too actually that's the only way i can get this to work because tomorrow is just super crazy so i will be cheating for december 3rd i'm so sorry um yeah but um i have to uh, get busy and take you guys with me to the uh, studio or office and uh open the skeins i just have some groceries i need to unpack and put in the fridge and tidy up a little bit and i have a dog he's looking at me he's uh, locked in the room when he's home alone he's locked inside this room you can let me show you so he's right here and he's eager for me to open the door. Cutie. So this was yesterday's um, project, or what can we say, uh, part one of the knit along. And it was the first skein from Fuvelbo in this uh, gray um, golden speckled yarn. So we will be opening uh, for December 2nd.
so in my eager to <laughs> film this, I kind of pushed my huge basket with all the mini skeins and I just knocked over my cup of coffee that I just made. And now my uh, desk is such a mess. But um, yeah, I think we're good. I don't think anything happened. Well, I just uh, opened the tape on this. So let's see what we have inside for today. My favorite color, pink. I can see that it turns up a tad purple on the screen, but it is actually a dusty pink lavender. No, actually more pink. I don't know if the lighting will be better this way, but um, I think this is really cute. So We will be, I will be caking this one now and continue the ribbing. If when you open your second skein, you don't think they fit as well with the color that you already have on, you can just continue and do the entire ribbing in, in this first skein color. That's totally fine. You can, you know, remember, this is just, <laughs> and it along is no rules. This is just a free pattern that you get a little bit of the pattern every day. You can do this exactly the way you want to. And if you don't like the color of your skein number two, you can just wait and um, for skein number three. You know, you make the rules, I just make the pattern. But I will be caking this up now so we can do the second part of the knit along. We caked up skein number two and I really like the the colors and the speckles in this one so I will be continuing so find the inside of your skein see if you can find that center sometimes that's easier oops it didn't go so well kind of shove this back in the center I think that worked. So I'm just gonna continue my work and I will be knitting with this new color and just continue the ribbing for um, a few more rounds. Knit another eight rounds. <laughs> So now I have done my eight rounds with the color B and now you have to change for smaller, for not smaller, for larger needles. So I started out on a 3.5 so I'm going to change mine to four millimeter needles. So you have, if you started on a US4 you will be changing to a US6 or whatever uh, needle you're using to obtain the right uh, gauge. Just go to uh, switch to larger needles now. Make sure you tighten those needles really good. So, okay, so now we're just gonna knit. I have a miss here because they split. Anyway, um, we're going to knit two rounds now. That's the last two rounds for today. And you're going to knit one round and purl one round because the rest of the mitten is done in a garter stitch. Now I have done my eight rounds of ribbing and my extra true two rounds of garter stitch. So that's 10 rounds altogether. And that is it for uh, clue number two of these uh, Christmas no, these uh, CK Calmas mittens. <laughs> That's the hashtag. So I will be cutting my yarn. 
and now I'm ready for tomorrow. So actually, um, you can go inside of the cuff now and just uh, fix your uh, ends so that you don't have to so weave in a lot of ends when your mittens are done. I like to do that anyway, so I think I'll just do that right now. Um, and when I weave in my ends, I'm just going to make sure that this little opening here where I change colors, that I close that up really good. So I will do that now and then I have to get on with the rest of my very busy Wednesday. I will see you later. Okay, so now we are done with uh, clue number two of the little mini skin project that we have here. Um, so this will be resting until tomorrow. Uh, unless you're working on your second one. I actually cast it on my other mitten <laughs> yesterday, but I didn't get very far because I'm um, also working on my melancholy sweater. But we still have the uh, calendar from the homespun house. So um, let me see if I can just uh, rearrange my camera a little bit. So we can s open number two. It's here. Wow. That's a very Christmassy color, don't you think? It's stuck. So look. This is pretty. This is um, very Christmassy color. So if I did work the mittens with these skeins, this would be also be very fun. I chose the tonal version from the Homespun House. You could get either a speckled version or tonal. And I chose these tonal ones. Um, I think speckles will be just as fun, but I think I have more speckled yarn in my stash than I actually do have these tonals. So I think these will go into one of my blankets maybe, or some funny striped socks, or maybe some mittens, I don't know. They're cute. And the good thing is that once I open all 24, I can play with the colors, so that's also fun. I like doing both, this surprise version with the mittens. I didn't know beforehand that this was going to look like this. And that just makes me even more excited to open number three because I'm excited to see what the next stripe will be. And also I just want to say you can alter one um, strand at a time. So you could start with two of color B, then knit, knit a little piece with A and B, and then go B. So you can kind of do the fade with one strand at a time. That's up to you. Uh, you know, there are no rules in this knit along. Um, that is it for now. I have to get ready now and uh, go to work. But I will catch up on you a little bit later. Today's episode will not be as long and uh, tomorrow won't be as long either. But uh, hopefully during the weekend I'll have a little bit more time to do something extra fun. Maybe take you to downtown Aarhus. Or... I don't know. I'm not going to promise anything. <laughs> but I will have more time in the weekend. So I'm excited to... Um, actually show you a little bit more than just uh, the office and uh, me doing groceries but um, if you have any questions about the knit along or anything a comment or anything it's so lovely to get some respond and uh, just say hi or Merry Christmas that's that's fine but um, any comment is just uh, greatly appreciated yeah but I'll uh, see you later Hello, it is uh, six o'clock in the evening. I just got home from work and now I am cooking. I have another hour before I have to move on and uh, go to a meeting. So uh, yeah, today's a little busy, but um, I will uh, record a little bit later tonight. And I will also bring you to my meeting just to show you the beautiful church we have here where I live. 